welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video just to round off the series of copy this to finish in the top 5% and that's about the sixth take I've done of that because it's really hard to think how to phrase it all. Anyway, uh, so there's a series been running the entire season, the idea being you copy these players, you copy the moves I'm suggesting and if you do you should finish in the top 5% and the point of that is you should do well in your mini league. So what I'd really appreciate is anyone who has been following this, whether it's been for a few weeks or longer, if you could leave in the comments for other people to see, did it work for you? D did you do all right? Did you enjoy it? Was it nice and easy to follow? And also, if you've got any ideas how you need me to improve it in the future, apart from better choices, I mean, realistically. Now, I've got some ideas of what I want to do because it takes me hours to put the videos together. Even after the research, it might be like 10 hours to get the videos ready and then I got to record and edit so I need to make that an awful lot smarter but please do leave comments if you've been doing this to say how it went for you and if you're pleased with it and if you think you might do it next season now I'm aware people don't really want to share this channel because if you're doing it why would you want your competitors to know about it too uh, so <laughs> I've shot myself in the foot a bit of that one anyway I'm going to quickly go over very quickly how this game week went so the goalkeepers, you would have had one of these six goalkeepers potentially playing and they averaged five and a half. For the more expensive defenders, you'd have had, I'm saying, two of these playing. That would have given you 6.6 .6 points. For the cheaper defenders, you'd have had two of these playing, which would have been an average of 8.3. For the more expensive midfielders, again, assuming two of these, because we always assume 4-4-2 four, because four, it's easier. That's an average of 9.7. For the slightly cheaper midfielders, I'm assuming two of these, that was an average of 4.4, so not so good. For the expensive forwards, I'm assuming one of these, which averaged 9.7. And for the cheaper forwards, apart from Watkins, none of them did anything, really. So that was an average of three. For your captain choices, you'd have had one of these, so we had the points again, because captain points get doubled. And that's an average of 9.5. The global average for game week 38 was 40. The worst you could have done following the system was 20. The average was 56.7. The maximum was 103. And I did look at the people I'm aware of that are following this and they were around the average, some a little bit lower, some a little bit higher. I think there might have been one got a red arrow, the rest green, but they all finished well inside the top 5%. So I'm very pleased for everyone who followed this and I'm very pleased it worked and I think it'll work next season as well. We'll do better next season. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this series. Please do remember to come back next season if you want to do this again. Like I said, I do have some ideas how to make this better for me and hopefully better for you as well. And I'll hopefully be able to explain things a little bit clearer. And if you've got friends or family who aren't in the same league as you, perhaps, and you want them to do well or you want them to do well in their own leagues, then please let them know about this. Oh, and another reason for the comments is I'm thinking the beginning of next season, some people may look back at the comments for the end of this season to see whether or not it worked. All right, thanks again. See you next season, hopefully. Bye. <laughs>